Hey guys, Mark here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at this Fractal Design Meshify C case. So as you can see, I've already spent a bit of time playing around with this case. I did a fairly simple air-cooled build in here that took me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. In the coming weeks, I'll be building a much beefier video editing system in it, so expect a more detailed build video coming soon. This video is gonna be taking what I've learned from building in this case for the very first time and giving you my first impressions of it. The first thing you'll notice about this case is just how nice looking it is. It has this low poly type mesh on the front that allows the front case fans to suck in air very nicely. Speaking of case fans, you can put two 140mm fans or three 120mm fans in the front. In the top of the case, you can fit two 120 or 140 fans. You can fit one 120 in the rear and one 120 in the bottom of the case as well. So there's plenty of opportunity here for air cooling. In terms of liquid cooling, there's room in the front for up to a 360mm radiator and a 240mm radiator on the top. The case comes with two 120mm fans pre-installed that are quite quiet. There are removable dust filters along the top, bottom, and front of the case. The front one is a little hard to get to behind this mesh front, but that's no big deal as you won't really have to remove it very often anyway. Front I.O. comes with two USB 3.0 ports, a power button, reset switch, and a headphone and microphone jack. I would have liked to see a USB Type-C port for charging my phone, and I would have liked to see some LED lighting around the power button. If the case is sitting on the floor and you have quiet fans, it's actually really difficult to tell whether the system is on or not. Now, time for the star of the show. This is the tempered glass version of the case, and I have to say I love it. The tint on the glass allows the case lighting to pass through, but hides the nastiness of black cabling. The result is very clean and very nice looking. The glass is removed by four thumb screws on the outside and the glass will slide out without actually falling out of the case, which is really, really nice. Cable management was easy and there were plenty of options available from rubber grommets to Velcro straps and cable tie areas. On the back side of the case is also an area for three 2.5 millimeter hard drives or solid state drives as well as two slots for 3.5 millimeter hard drives. I gotta say, it was pretty annoying to mount these 2.5 millimeter drives. You have to remove the caddy, place the drives face down, line up all the holes on the bottom of the drives, and then screw them in. It's not a terrible design, but it is a bit fiddly, and it takes a little bit more time than I was expecting to actually get the drives mounted. What saves time, though, is the power supply frame that Fractal Design has included that allows you to bolt it onto the PSU before you put it into the case. This makes it much easier to install the PSU inside the case. Overall, it's a great looking case that was very easy to build in. For 89 US dollars, I would seriously recommend picking one of these up. I'll have a lot more to talk about with regards to this case and you know, building inside of it during my more detailed build video in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to show your support. And if you didn't, let me know why in a comment below. I love hearing your feedback. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.